Hello, Daisy. Hello. Hi, can you see me? Can you hear me? Um, I can't see you. Yes, now I can see you. Okay, hi. Nice to see you, Daisy. Me too. How was your day today? Uh, um, um, it was fine. How about you? Ah, my day is still busy. My, my day is still going. Your day is finished. You are in the evening. Mine is still the afternoon. So my day is still going and it's going good. It's beautiful outside. It's sunny. It's nice and warm. Lots of people walking outside in the streets. It's a nice day today. So, it's the middle of the week, Wednesday. And... Is there anything exciting this week that you are looking forward to or something that has passed already this week? Hmm. Is, or is it an ordinary week? What is ordinary? Ordinary means normal, nothing special. This week uh, it is ordinary week. Ordinary. But next, next ordinary week. week, but next week, uh, Wednesday, yes, Wednesday, Wednesday, um, I will go Hong Kong. That's exciting. That's an exciting trip. You will tell me about Hong Kong when you get back. You told me about Hawaii, you told me about Thailand, now you will tell me about Hong Kong. Wow, Daisy, so many countries. We are going with school, not a family, like friends and teacher. Wait, and, and didn't you go to Japan as well? You also, didn't you go to Japan? I went. Yeah, so you told me about Thailand, Hawaii, Japan, and now Hong Kong. Four countries. You said you are going with your school. Yes. So that's exciting. You will have. You will be with your friends. We will go Disneyland. Disneyland. That's super. Are you gonna ride the roller coasters? Mm, maybe. Maybe. When you get there, you will see. Okay. Good. Let's see today's class. What are we talking about? Daisy, in, in Korea there are many PC bangs. What are people doing in the PC bangs? Games. Games. They are playing games. They are gamers. And to be a gamer, you should have your headset. Yes. Do you have a headset? I saw you are looking around. <laughs> yes, I have. Where is yours? Living room. So, are you a gamer? No. <laughs> I like to play games, but I'm not a good gamer. But but. Uh, but you like to play. Daisy, these headsets. They have the headphones for listening, and they have the microphone for talking. They are called noise cancellation headphones because they cancel all the noise around when I put these on I cannot hear what other people are talking cars driving I can only hear what is inside so this is called noise cancellation can you say for noise me noise can cancellation noise cancellation Daisy, this noise cancellation is very good, but when the players are playing their games, they also like to eat a snack. Yes. So the microphone is right here. And here is your snack. Ooh. And when you eat your snack, you are going to crunch, 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 eat, eat. And all that noise, that crunching noise is going to go where? Mike. To the other players, right? 
everyone is going to listen to how Daisy is eating her chips. <laughs> is that nice? No. No, the other players don't want to listen to how others are eating. So, look at what Doritos did. Doritos. Okay, Daisy, two players are on your screen. What are the players doing? Uh, eating the Doritos uh, chips. They Can you say for me? They are eating Doritos chips. They are eating Doritos chips. Okay, so now Doritos wanted the other players not to be angry if the if the players eat and make noise so they created a new software let's read can you read for me doritos crunch cancellation doritos crunch cancellation software for gamers removes munching sounds from headset and it's free Daisy, it is a software, which means it's a program. It's on the computer. The software removes the eating sounds, the munching sounds, the crunching sounds. So, can you read for me those three red squares? Software removes and munching sounds. All right, Daisy, can you tell me what did Doritos create? And what does it do? Doritos created a software. Uh, yes, software. Maybe, maybe you are busy. Are you going to coding class? No. But do you know code? Do you know what coding class is about? Or uh, learning about coding. Learning about coding, yeah, how to type the different code. And that is a program. That is a program and that is software that goes inside the computer. It is software. Coding is software. Daisy, what does this software do that Doritos created? What does it remove? Uh, it removes the munching sounds. It removes the munching sounds. So that, why did they create the software? Because, uh, uh, because uh, other people don't want to hear the uh, munching sound, so they create the software that uh, removes the munching sounds. Yes, exactly. Let's test the Zoom to see if Zoom has noise cancellation. Because it's actually very noisy outside. My window is open. My door to the balcony is open. And outside is very noisy. People, you I told you, noise? people are walking outside. In the Can you hear anything? No. Okay. Let's see if you can hear this can you hear this one no you cannot hear it yes can you clap for me i will listen yeah that's amazing i cannot hear it that is noise cancellation let's see if um i want to try crunch what about if we if we cough let's can you hear this <coughs> yeah. How about if we sneeze? Action! Yes. Uh, what else can we try? What other noise? So the clapping is the clap the clapping is impressive. The clapping is removed. Okay, Daisy. Let's see what's next here. We go to Spain, and in Spain there is a city called Barcelona. Barcelona has this church, a giant cathedral. A giant church is a cathedral. Daisy, they are still building this church. It is still 
under construction. Can you say for me, under construction? Under construction. Say, this church is still under construction. Uh, this church is still under construction. So they are very late to finish building this church. They are late with the construction. Let's read. Find out how late are they. Bar Barcelona church under construction for 141 years finally gets its four towers named Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Daisy, how late are they? Uh, 141 years. That's too late. That's more than 100 years, Daisy. It was all... Now it's 21. And 100 years ago? More than 100. 141. They started building. Amazing. <laughs> So, Daisy... It was 882 to start building this. Yes, yeah, so how can it be so late? What do you think happened? Broken. Say again. Broken. Okay, so for 141 years, so many things can happen. You said broken. So some of the, some of the church got broke, broken, collapsed. And they had to fix it so that can take time they stopped building that can also take lots of time stopping to build stopping the construction materials finding materials delivering materials no materials that's a problem okay so all these no no people to build no people to build Okay, so there are many different reasons why. What about you, Daisy? Have you ever been late for anything? Maybe late for school, late for academy, late for a party? Mm, what have you I been late for? Late for um, school. And... Uh, why were you late for school? Because um, I was waiting for the bus, but bus was not coming for 15 minutes. Uh, minute and uh, my mom called the uh, teacher, and uh, she said uh, that traf traffic. So I uh, I got like five minutes late. Okay, so you can say, I was late because of the traffic. I was late because of the traffic. Yeah. Okay. Traffic can be a big problem, Daisy. Sometimes there's too much traffic. And then, because of the traffic, we are late. So that's why some people like to leave their house even more early to miss the traffic. What do you think is a solution to traffic? It, traffic is a problem. What's the solution to traffic? Do is there a solution? Mm, like police come and like police come and tell the cars where to go, but they already know where to go. Mm. <laughs> so I think a solution will be so traffic means too many cars, too many cars. So to, in order to remove the cars from the road, we should share the cars. What do you think about that solution? Yeah. Well, we ride together, people riding together in the cars. Because then there will be less cars on the road. And like uh, me and the person who I don't know? Well, yeah. <laughs> huh? So it's not but practical. We... It's like, like, uh, 
like bad or like bad people could. Well, that's the thing, Daisy. We, we, it's not a practical solution. It is a solution to remove cars from the road. Is to have people use maybe buses. It's the same as a bus. Get the people yeah. to use public transport. Sit in the bus. Don't use a car, and there will be less traffic. Right, Daisy. Let's see what's next here. Ah, this is a twelve-year-old girl. How old are you? Ten. Oh, she is two years older than you. And look at what she created: a fire detection system. So. Her fire detection system will tell someone that there is a fire nearby. Warning of a fire. Like a fire alarm. Uh, Daisy, do you have a fire detection system in your in your house? Uh fire detect uh Yes. You have like, one in your uh, house? There is fire and it likes sound like a pp and water comes so that's the alarm the sound is the alarm and then the the water is the sprinkler yes so do you have that do you have the sprinkler yes it is there and there and you can see it so did did the sprinkler ever start spraying water never no never okay never so that's important to have why why do we need a fire detection system mm. we need a fire detection system because because uh, if there is fire we need to we need to stay safe yes we need to put out the fire Oh, the fire, the fire fighters must do that. <clears throat> so, this girl's device, let's see how hers is different. She has this small computer. Yes. Uh, it's a small box and inside there is a small computer and the computer has a camera. Daisy, let's quickly read. 12 year old develops. 12 year old develops. Fire detection system that wins her uh, $25,000 and top junior scientist award. Okay, so her device is a camera that, that, that is scanning. The camera is scanning for two things. First, the camera is scanning for moving objects. Oh, eh? Moving object? Moving objects. So it can see moving objects. And what are... <coughs> Daisy, let's look at her yes. example. Where did she put her fire detection system? Uh, uh, above the uh, stove. Yes, in the kitchen, above the stove. Why did she put it in the kitchen? Because our stove we could make fire. Okay, so the kitchen is the place where fires can start. There is a stove, there is an oven, there is a microwave, there is a toaster. There are all these dangerous things. <clears throat> so she put it here. And so we said the camera is scanning for moving objects. What are the moving objects that this camera will see in the kitchen? People. People, exactly. Moving objects are people. The second thing that the camera scans is heat. Moving objects and heat. So Daisy, can you tell me the two things the camera is scanning for? Uh, the camera is uh, scanning for a, a people, the moving object, and the heat. Good. So, when do you think this fire detection system will send an alarm 
that it is dangerous. Do you think when there is heat detected and a moving object or just heat? Hmm. So, let me let me draw the two scenarios. These are your two options, Daisy. <coughs> option 1, option 2. So the camera is detecting a moving object. Moving objects will be let's do what color shall we do moving objects? Orange. No, that's fine. Let's Orange. do pink. There is a moving object and there is a moving object, Daisy. For example, this is the camera, what the camera is seeing. No moving objects on the right side. Daisy, what did we say moving objects are? People. Okay, now let's... Now the camera is going to detect a fire. <clears throat> heat. It's going to detect heat. Now the heat is detected in a red color. So heat is detected over here. And heat is detected over here. Which one is a dangerous situation? The left box or the right box? Um, that, that, that. Uh, that, uh, left box. Can you make a sentence for me? The left box uh, is? The left box is the dangerous situation. Dang, you are wrong. It is the what? right side that is dangerous because the left side has these pink squares. What are these pink squares? People. They are people. Daisy, there are people and there is fire. That means maybe they are cooking. Maybe this person here is in front of the stove and they are cooking spaghetti that's not dangerous but here there is fire is there any people where the fire is there is no people it's just the fire is that safe no no daisy can you explain to me why is the right box the dangerous situation because for the left box, uh, there are uh, people and heat, um, and uh, for the situation, uh, people could be cooking something, and for the right box, there are no people and just heat or fire. Okay, so that fire can grow and nobody knows about it. So this is the time when the computer will say, dang, 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 I need to send a message to someone. Alert them that there is a fire. Very smart, isn't it? Simple, but smart. Simple. <clears throat> Any questions, Daisy? No. Yes, what, what uh, is your question? Um, we could buy that uh, fire detection system. Detection system. Wait, Can what is buy? the question? What is the question? Can we buy? Well, yes, you can buy. Do you mean this one that the girl made? Oh, so the one that the girl made is, it's still a, a design. She is, it's still, for, it's for her project. And she made it, but she only made a prototype. Prototype means the, the very first product. So later, she will sell it. 
Right now it's just the one that she made to prove that it is working. Can you say for me why did she only make one? To prove? Be uh, uh, she made only one because she need to prove that it prove is working. Prove that it is working. Prove that it is working. Okay, Daisy, let's do a review. Today, we spoke about noise cancellation. What is that? Who created some other type of cancellation? Uh, Doritos uh, made the made the noise cancellation for uh, removing the munching sounds. Okay, what's your favorite snack? My favorite is Doritos. Yeah. What's yours? My favorite snack is <coughs> I think that uh, honey butter chip. Honey and butter? I've never had honey and butter. Really? I love honey. I've, do you know, yummy. when you said honey, I remembered long time ago when i was your age i really loved cereal there was a honey flavor cereal honey and milk it was and and after you eat the cereal then you drink the milk and the milk is honey flavored because of this it was so delicious do you eat cereal yes what cereal do you have at your house uh, i have granola and like uh chocolate flavor so the granola one how do you eat the granola one because i like granola with with yogurt not with milk what about you how i just you... eat with milk just but with... i don't but i i like just original eating without milk like chips just eating crunch 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 yes. you need to get that software you need to get the Dorito software so that the other people don't listen to the crunching cereal. Daisy, have a wonderful evening. Is there anything exciting happening on the weekend? You said next week you will go to... Ah, I what? forgot it, but now I remember. Hmm. This week, um, on November 18th, is my mother's birthday. November 18th, and that's after three days. So today's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yes. Nice. Maybe you will celebrate. Maybe you will have a nice birthday party. Have a nice weekend, Daisy. Tell your mom Mr. Minev says happy birthday, okay? On Saturday. Okay. Not now, on Saturday. <laughs> bye, Daisy. Bye-bye.